Welcome back everybody to part three of exploring Najatar. We have officially made it to the Queen's Gate. Thank you so much. This has been such a fun series to record. I just want to thank everybody who's been watching the series and watching part one, part two, now finishing it up with part three. I probably will come back to Nashatar in the future, maybe even do a lore video on it. I think that would be a lot of fun. But for now, we're going to be wrapping up the series and we're going to be going into the Queen's Gate. Now, in our first video, we started on the right side and we explored all through here. Then we started on the left side in part two, and now we have officially made it to the Gate of the Queen. So this is probably going to be my favorite part out of all the whole series because like I told you guys back in part two, there are some really beautiful shots back in the Queen's Gate and uh, just makes for some awesome, awesome wallpapers. So get your cameras ready. If you are gonna be exploring back here, I highly recommend taking some screenshots let's go take a look all right so we left off where we were in part two and uh we're gonna go make our way up this way now we were hitting some unfortunately difficult walls that was in i wasn't allowing us to get over there i'm trying to remember how i got back there to begin with so i'm gonna make my way up this way and then what i'm gonna do is you can see the entrance to the eternal palace right over there that is the raid in Najatar, obviously and uh we're gonna go make our way this way and we're eventually gonna hit some water here now we're gonna take our time with this one because the only reason is there is some really cool sights back here this won't be a very long video i'll admit it to you guys there isn't too much to see back here but there is some cool things so let's make our way down into here now as we dive into here we're unfortunately we're going to get dismounted and we can just mount back up here with our water mount now one of the really cool things about this spot is normally you cannot see the backside of here because when you enter the eternal palace you get sucked down into like this whirlwind hole and it kind of flushes you in and then you travel underwater into the eternal palace and then you get to the beginning area of the entrance Normally, you're never supposed to see any of this stuff. So coming back here is just really awesome. Now, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to give you guys an awesome look at the Eternal Palace from the side that you're never supposed to see. Now, if you remember, coming to the front here, as you can see, we are in, still in Nashatar, but we are coming up to the Eternal Palace raid. Now, this is actually the backside of the waterfall with the giant... Queen Ashara statue. If you remember going into the Eternal Palace raid, you would jump in a world pool here, like I said, and it would suck you in, and then you would go all the way up here and you would travel to the entrance over here. But because we're out of bounds, we don't have to do that, and uh, we can head out straight down here. Now, it is a little difficult to see, unfortunately. And uh, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the atmosphere, so I'm going to shut off my mic for a minute, and I'm going to let you enjoy the ambience of the water, so enjoy. Man, it is really something special down here, I gotta say. This is probably my favorite part of the OOB that we do in the Nashtar. Uh, the Eternal Palace is just something really special and different. I thought Blizzard did a great job with this area. Um, with the BFA expansion, not too great, right? It wasn't the favorite among fans. But I do have to say, they did a great job creating this atmosphere down here that is just... I don't know, there's beauty in it. And there's just some awesome shots. I've never been down here. 
take a look at this. There is the architecture here that you won't find anywhere else in the game. The only other place I could probably think of is Vashir, the underwater place in the Cataclysm expansion. But see, this is the normal way where you normally get sucked into the whirlpool. And I'm going to head back this way and I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like back here. I'm going to move slowly here. Give you a good look of everything. Now I do have to say, this would make an awesome Universal Studios or Disneyland theme park ride. <laughs> if Blizzard ever did their own theme park, which highly unlikely, unlikely, but if we ever do get a video game theme park, I hope World of Warcraft is in it. As this would make a really cool underwater submarine ride or something, I don't know. But we're going to head back this way. And I love the atmosphere and the music down here. It's just, it's a cool vibe and ambience. But I'm going to shut off my mic and let you guys enjoy it. Now coming up is my favorite part of the OOB of the Gate of the Queen. You have this really, really cool Naga statue over here that you normally don't get to see out of bounds. How awesome is that? <laughs> but coming up right here, this is what I was talking about with a beautiful wallpaper. This is actually my wallpaper on my desktop right now. And uh, if you guys are looking for a cool background or a wallpaper, here you go. Isn't that just amazing? I, uh, I'm having like a nerd emotional moment here. <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been uh, supporting the channel. Um, all the likes and the comments. You guys have been supportive beyond belief. And uh, we're almost to 5,000 subscribers. That is because of you guys and your love for the channel. Um, I don't mean to get all sappy, <laughs> but I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I, I hope you guys are um, going to love ATN for a lot of years to come. And uh, I know I've had so much fun making these videos. And I'm going to continue pushing out World of Warcraft content as much as I can. Um, I just want to say thank you to you guys. We have lost our noggin fogger here. Oh, now we're small. <laughs> you know, I really need to invest in some swimming gear for my underwater adventures here. But isn't that just a beautiful back shot there? Look at that. You can't get better than that. I mean, Blizzard really nailed it with the ambience of this place underwater. And I couldn't be more happy. But anyways, guys. Now, unfortunately, we can't go swim farther out here. Because if you do, you will get dragged to the entrance over there to the Eternal Palace, right? So you can't go too far out. Um, I'll show you kind of what happens if you do. Let's go take a look.
Okay, it's not hurting us yet. If what happens is this big doo -doo -doo music comes on and eventually it'll say you're in the danger zone and it will teleport you to the entrance over here. It hasn't done that yet, so this is kind of cool actually. I'd have never seen down here yet, so maybe we can go take a look. Looks like it's allowing us to. Let's get let's get dismounted and take a look at some of this architecture real quick. I didn't know you could swim down here, so this is new for me too. keep shutting off my mic because I want you guys to really just feel the ambience and the music and just the liveliness of this place. It's just absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite places to be in all World of Warcraft is right here. I don't know. I just thought Blizzard did an amazing job. Chef's kiss to Blizzard. <laughs> really good work, Blizzard. This is awesome. Good work. Whoever was the art design for Najatar and the, the team that behind this. Good on them. They did a great job here. I do want to show you guys if we if we get closer, kind of what happens. So I don't know what that noise is. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we're in fatigue. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we have we eventually hit fatigue. <laughs> Enjoying this beautiful moment, and stupid fatigue comes by and ruins it. <laughs> that is typical World of Warcraft, isn't it? Ah, uh, well, guys. I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this journey of Naz Shatar. Um, I got a lot more content coming up these next few months to come all the way until Christmas until the next year. I got a backlog of videos I want to record and bring to you guys. There's so many places I haven't done yet and explored so many Easter egg stuff, so many videos I want to push out. And again, thank you to everybody to the ATN community. You guys have been amazing. It's kind of weird just me floating here. I do gotta say, that is a beautiful death ambience, though. Just sitting here floating in the middle of the Eternal Palace, so... But, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you again. Um, look forward to my next video. I'm going to be pushing it out Thursday. And, uh, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.